The windiest militant trash important person shout is not so crude as our wish. What Mad Nijinsky wrote about Diaghilev is true of the normal heart. For the error bred in the bone of each woman and each man craves what it cannot have. Not universal love, but to be loved alone. For Bernstein, he believed that God appeared in the crack between major and minor. As we know from Lillian Hellman and Leonard Bernstein's beautiful amalgam, their creation called Candide, it's based on Voltaire's incredible little novella, which really highlighted it at the time that Lisbon had had this unbelievable earthquake. Thousands and thousands of people were just instantly killed. And it was at a time when there was a prevailing philosophy. And basically it said that everything is the best and the best of all possible worlds. It was sort of like a spiritual bypass. <laughs> just don't worry about all those horrible things that are happening, whether it's earthquakes or volcanoes or um, earth. <laughs> Earth and climate change, it doesn't matter. It's just all in the grand design and scheme of things. Well, actually not. And that philosophy just doesn't work when people are just bleeding in the streets. And he writes Candide, this just vicious satire, which highlights that that's insane. And actually, um, we need to get to a philosophy that can include suffering, really. So when there is this juxtaposition of an F-sharp major chord and an F-sharp minor chord, right? Which is a half step below this D. So really, is what we're waiting for, and it's <laughs> And he resolves it, and he sounds the whole bitonality, it would be called. So I think that when you hear that bitonality, it reminds us that we don't banish suffering in service of an F major chord that is so pleasing and consonant. bring in the F-sharp minor and it reminds us of what it is to be human and that we can have a resolution down there. And in the orchestra version, God appears and blesses us. Beautiful piece.